Redlink 89's Pro and 8010 supports timer function, which is often used to track time, remaining in a competition, register flight time, battery standby time, and so on. I'm going to introduce the function and take 89's Pro as an example. Cover on the transmitter. You can see T1 and T2 at the home page corresponding to timer 1 and timer 2 and empty here in the power on time of the transmitter. You can set it and use it as timer 3. Enter basic menu. Timer. As we can see here, you can set 3 timers in total and time. You can see the time up to 99 hours. 59 seconds and for example I set it to uh, one minute and there are three flight modes up down and DNS up means the timer will count from zero to the time you set and down means the timer will count from the time you set to zero when the countdown ends the timer will continue to count down below zero and DNS means the timer will also count down, but when the timer reaches zero, the counting will stop. And then you need to assign two switches for on and reset to turn on the timer and reset the timer. The switch can be set from switch A to switch H, and logic switch 1 to 3, throttle up, throttle down, power switch. The two position switch or three position switch, you can set the position to uh, up, down, center, or other values. And for a logic switch, one, two, three, and please refer to the basic menu logic switch. THR up means throttle up. And set the position, and for example, to 50%. That is to see, the timer will be turned on when the throttle stick is about 50% throttle travel. For example, go back to home page. Push the throttle stick above the central point. The timer is turned on. You can see it here. And push the throttle stick below the central point. And the timer is turned off. And THRDM means throttle down. The function is opposite to throttle up. PWRSW power switch means the timer is turned on once the transmitter is powered on, and no switch is needed to turn on the timer. And I set the switch to switch A and the position to up. That is to see the timer is turned on when switch A is pushed up and turned off when switch A is pushed down. And go back to the home page. Push switch A. The timer works. And push switch A down. And it stops. A reset in the timing value will return to a set value. The setting method is the same as the switch here. And I set the switch to um, switch D. The switch here and the position to up. That is to see when switch D is pushed up, the timing value will be returned to the time you set. And go back to the home page. For example, push switch A up to turn on the timer. And stop it. And then push switch D up to reset it. And we can see the timing value returns to one minute that I set. And pay attention, when you start timer, please check the position of the reset switch. And if reset switch is turned on, you cannot turn on the timer. So you need to push down switch D if you want to use the timer function. And the setting methods for other timers, timer 2, timer 3, are the same. And as for timer 3, you just need to change the model to any one other working mode, and then you can set the timer 3. And finally, let's test the timer 1. Go back to the home page and push switch it up to turn on the timer 1. 
and Tamiya starts. I set the mode to DNS so it counts down. In the countdown 20 seconds, it beeps every one second. In the countdown 10 seconds, it beeps twice every one second. Since the mode is in S and when the timer reaches zero, the counting stops. And then I can push switch D to reset the timer. And we can say the time here returns to one minute that I've set. So that's all about the timer function of 89's Pro.